If the Knicks get bounced in round two, JB's fired. If the Knicks advance, he is safe. Kobe Altman kind of came out today, and we're going to talk about his comments involved with this discussion. He said they're not making any sweeping changes. Yeah. They're one of six teams that won 51 games. They're going to need to add shooting, be more physical. He understands that, but no sweeping changes. At least that's what he said today. Mm -hmm. So my question is to you guys, and Brad, I want to start this with you. Okay. The regular season and the postseason were two different teams, essentially, for the Cavs. They yes. were not the same team both ways. That's true. Did we miss something through 81, 82 regular season games about this team that should have indicated to us that maybe they weren't ready for the spotlight? Well, l let, me, let me just answer your question. So first, let me answer the Super course Chat question first. Kobe, uh, uh, Kobe is not firing JB. That's not, no, he made not, it clear today. 50, 50, 51 wins is, is a measuring point in this league and always has been. 50 wins is a measuring point. Now, I will say this. JB is on notice because I don't think anyone didn't think that JB didn't get outworked by Thibodeau because he did, right? And it, it, th there's levels to this. There's levels to learning. So our guys had never been in the playoff before. Now they know, right? The playoffs are totally different than the regular season. Everybody saw that. I think it wasn't that the Cavaliers lost here that – irritated everybody. It was how they lost. Yeah, right. That's what irritated everybody. We understand that they had a, re a good regular season. Enjoyed that the playoffs were very disappointing here, and that's what has to be built upon. I will say I will say this though to to, to Mikey's point or question is this. As we retool here, you didn't miss a thing. You knew you were weak at the three. It was weak early. It was weak midway. It was weak at the end because it's a vital cog in the position of basketball that you have somebody that is competent. You and implored can do them to go out. I told him to Carmelo sign Anthony. Carmelo Anthony, right? And now you see the value mm -hmm. in having a player like, not that he was going to play 38 minutes a night. No. But in 20 minutes, you take Carmelo Anthony and put him in the garden. You think he would have been scared? No. He would have been scared. Nope. The people probably would have been cheering for Carmelo. Nobody else signed him, too. Does right. that tell you something? Well, let's see. This league is monk, a monkey see, monkey do. It's what it is. Uh, right? And then the other thing I tell you, now Jared Allen and, 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 and Evan Mobley, you know, who have played great in the regular season, they learned a lesson because Mr. Robinson and Hartenstein and, and uh, Julius Randle to some degree, they showed them another side of this game. You can't play that way during 82, uh, 82 regular season games because it's a different game every night. But in a seven game series, I can play a different way and I can use my strong suits. They ran them up under the basket just about every time you could think about okay. it, right? And so now you know what to work on in the offseason. I would tell you from us, because we didn't have really any flexibility for any moves, I, I thought was a brilliant move by the Lakers. When we got rid of Kevin, right, Tristan was sitting out there, yeah. right? Because you needed another body, all right? So we know that now. Now we go into the season, next season, and figure out we better f fill some of these holes. And I don't think you can deny him now because what, what the world saw, and this was, if you had any Cleveland roots here, it, it antagonized people across this country, right? Because if people that live here that may live other places, they felt like that was symbolic of that the world had a different look at us because that's what Cleveland's about. That's not what Cleveland's about. Right. Yeah. So we got to pick it up. Cleveland's not about laying over. No. And getting steamrolled. No. That's what happened. Mikey. I'm not interrupting this conversation for one sec. Just to remind everybody that the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show's Lunch Hour is sponsored by Caller Gracing, the official NASCAR team of Northeast Ohio. Jay. So the, 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 the this no sweeping changes comment is obviously uh, an indictment or an endorsement rather of JB. He's going to be back. Whether fans think he should be or not, he's going to be back. Yeah. Um, I, I'm looking at Kobe more than I'm looking at JB and here's why this is a flawed roster big time. This, this Huge. is a flawed roster big time. We, we got so caught by the fireworks of Donovan Mitchell that we missed the meat and potato who, who missed it. The fans missed it initially. Now we know. But the front office missed it, Brad. 
There are See, four they two. stars, they, alleged stars, oh, no, on no. this team. Uh, 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 and uh. after that, mm -mm. you got just a bunch of no, guys. No, 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 no. Listen, he's not getting ushered into that that four nothing. You Jer want three stars. Jared Allen is regular and basic. He's standard. He's not leather seats. He's cloth. He got an AM FM radio, no CD Ooh. changer, Ooh. no sunroof. You got a brutal basic. here, son. Power windows? No power windows. Oh Roll that boy down God, yourself. He's rolling a windows and, and, manual. He might, might, might not even got power steering fluid in there. You just okay, let's strong. just go this <laughs> <laughs> Let's for the sake of this discussion. Okay, three. We tough. got three start, but it's it's the same thing that we did with the Browns coming into this season. We knew what they had at defensive line. We knew nothing. It. You can't. It's, and it. we were fooled by it, and the front office was fooled by it. And then you get you see the product, and you're like, um, who's going to stop running backs from getting well, I, twelve yards well, when they should get one? Let me say. I, I, I'm not sure that they were fooled by it. They've been pretty adept about what they're doing. Why didn't they? But no, well, but they well, were fooled well, by it, Brad, well, because they had chances to fix it. Well, here. And they didn't. And I'm not saying it because I do radio for the Cavaliers, right? They're, they've been, uh, Kobe's been pretty smart about it, right? One of the things that they were hamstrung with was going out and trying to acquire somebody because they don't have they don't have the assets to acquire and they didn't want to pay, right? I understand. So that's why I said go get Kobe. But I their said, big move was to release Kevin Love. Yeah, but see, that I, I think there was more to that story then now it, it comes back to bite that you because, hurts. because that that's hurts. exactly Miami. Miami just dusted off the right. ones, but know, here or, or the, but, uh, but I will tell I'll tell you this. There's a there in this league. There's two types, right? Some teams don't care about your antics. Kim Mulkey at LSU don't care about your antics, right? right. Can you play? Sure. Right? That's it. I don't take anything else. I'll take that the other stuff. Some people don't want to take that right and, and it, so for whatever happened with Kevin. I don't know. I'm not in there, but I would tell you this. The problems that they had right did not did not just miraculously appear in, in May in, in in April. No, that three spot That's what I'm was, saying. We was, all were was, fooled. Was a, I was never I, fooled. That three I, spot was a problem. I, I don't know. Oh, but but everybody know, thought and, they were going to at least no, win the well, first here, round here, series. Here, here, then, then you have a then you have. A I issue. was the only one that picked them to lose. There was nobody you could bring from the bench to help you. And that's my point, Brad. That that you, you just made my point. My point is, you of all people know how important the yes. bench is. Once you hit mid-April, we, we they were rolling guys in there that were just guys. There was a I I I, I wrote set down some stats. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen playoff teams. In offense, they finished 15th. Yeah. 15th. Rebounding, 15th. Field goal percentage, 11th. For the regular season, for the regular season, this team's three point shooting yeah. was in the lower half of the league. Yes. It's a three point shooting league. Yes. So in the playoffs, Here's where the Cavs' top three three-point shooters ranked amongst individuals. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell, highest, 20th. Mm -hmm. Darius Garland, 27th. Karis LeVert, 49th. That's not your game. Go look at Boston. Go look at Golden State. These teams that are shooting and hitting threes are winning series and advancing. This look, is go back and look at that. comment. This roster's flawed Brad. that that comment he made. Oh, I'm not saying it is, but go ahead. The comment he made go ahead. shows what I've been talking about from day one. What what comment the the the, 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 the we're not making sweeping no changes. sweeping changes. See, there's only a couple teams really trying to win. And when I mean really trying to win, I'm not saying, hey, let's make it to the first round. Hey, let's let's see if we can get a guy in a first team all defense. Let's do no. I'm talking about all in championship caliber. That's why nobody likes LeBron James. That's why GMs have to take three years off because LeBron James puts pressure on you. Ain't no way old Kobe Altman with a LeBron James on his squad can say, you know what? We're not going to have any sweeping changes. We're going to come at status quo. You know what these general managers? Man, I was shocked by these that. general managers do this all the time. They know they playing with house money. They think they are. But if you come back with that same roster and you ain't better than the Knicks, you ain't better than the Hawks, you ain't never been better than the Sixers, the Celtics, or none of them top teams. Now you look at I'm looking at you like. You well, bring here. back that roster Let, uh, with, 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 with the way we play in the playoffs, not regular season. Because they could come back and get 53 wins next year. But what I'm talking about. I don't even care about the regular season. I don't next care year. about I don't that. Care. 
But if I'm not they, being fooled by 51 anymore. If they come back with that same roster, they will get smoked well, let me, let me, again let me in say the playoffs. They, yes. they, 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 there's no way you can come back with the same roster. I mean, we were, you were exposed. We were on 7th Avenue on Front Street. I mean, you, the people saw that on ABC, right? And yeah. so the country saw that. They right? laughed so, at you. So, so the, 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 the part of it is this. You may not want to be in the game. The game is the game, right? In any sport, when you have glaring weaknesses, they have to be addressed. You cannot do this. The Browns do this very well. Yep. I don't see nothing. And I told yeah. them the I same like, thing. I said the same thing gonna happen to you, right? And I'm not speaking because I'm, I'm speaking from the standpoint. I've been there. I know what it takes. The playoffs are totally different than the regular season. Now they they and you can you can have the greatest success all you want to, right? Doesn't at, matter. At the end, what happened was there were guys that were unsure of themselves. And they had never been punched in the mouth like that before, and it set them back so far. That's why they needed to make the playoffs last all, year. All, that but, stunted their growth by a full but, but, year. Yeah. Jay, all season, JB has to take credit for this. All blame for this. All season he did this, what? and it irked me from get go. Every time something happened, he said they're young. Yeah. If they wouldn't play defense, they're young. Yeah. If shots didn't fall, they're young. We, hey, hey, we got a guy like gosh, you got to go through this. That is not how you instill confidence in people. You tell them you're better than this, and we have a standard here. We got a standard and a principle in which you're going to play. And when you keep telling people they're young, it's okay, well, we'll be back next year. You, you, give them a you, you get a built in Z, excuse, and that F, they don't put effort in. Did you see anybody Z. look like they was disappointed? G, G. No, I didn't see it. He's learning too. Right, JB ain't deep in these Let me tell you something. When He's I was in, eight, when though, I was in, when I was in the league, Jay, Tim was my assistant coach. I remember you said that. He'd been around a long time. Yeah. He's seen it. Where's his old jeans at? Where's, 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 where's the guys he put let, in let, the let, next let, let me, No, no. Yeah, well, that's another story. We'll get to that. But I'll, I'll tell you this, right? So there's value in having an OG next to you that knows yeah. the game to tell you to make you to keep keep it honest for you, right? But I will tell you this as well. You sit up in here and you cannot fool yourself here, right? JB over here is saying, you know, he's saying all the right things. The problem is Tib is playing from a different deck because he's got experience here. Julius Randle, I'll get take you to game four it was, right? Julius Randle wasn't getting off at all. And then said after after the game said was exactly what exactly he like sit down. Come on, you're not doing nothing. You ain't getting back in this game. Right. On, I don't care who you are. Sit down. We playing this dude over here, right? And it just looked like that we're fine. We're 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 learning in real time, right? And that's the sad, that's the part about it. I think that that irked everybody because we yep. had expectations here, yep. right? And the expectation was at least this: you were going to compete. Now, I, and I will say this: they I will say this. You didn't compete. You're learning on the job. I, the thing that I was most um, surprised with was this. In game five, I've been in do or die games. Right. Did right. you feel nobody, any urgency? Nobody had a sense of urgency. No wow. Right. Like, like we I, go, if we going and, down, and that to we me going is directly down, to the coach. Look, if we going down, nah, because you got to have that in you. If you going down, we going down. We going fighting, down. No, 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 not, not we. If we going down. You going down through these hands right here, right? And all I saw was guys trying to play hard. But there was nobody to step forward and say, on my back. But I'll turn on Miami. Jimmy Butler had him on his back. Yep. I turn to my, I, I go to Golden State. Steph them put on their back. I see Sacramento, the, uh, Darren, Darren Fox, Fox put them on their back. And there's John Morant put them on their back. Bain put them on their back, right? This is in Atlanta. Trey Young put them on their back. Who was the dude putting us on our back? It was yeah, a shared. It was supposed to be Mitchell. It was a shared responsibility. If you would have told me the day that the Cavs signed or made the trade for Mitchell, that the Knicks would beat the Cavs in the playoffs. 4-1. I wouldn't have believed you. Mm -mm. I wouldn't have what, taken a bet on that. What I tell you before the show, you and I said one thing, and I'll remind Lose everybody. Game one and it's, we it's, said, we it's said the Cavs going to win this series. But I, Jay, I did Jay, not. I, no, picked, I picked the Knicks to win this Jay, series. Jay, Jay, Jay and I said that we agreed on one thing. If the Cavs lose game one, all bets are off here. Yeah. Mikey, do you have real quick? Do, do you got do you got the Jared Allen quote? 
Can I get that quote? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, got... I'll put which one? The lights were too bright? Yeah, give me that one. Give me that. Hold this, on one. This yeah, is, that this is, oh, he said, well, I can tell you. He said exactly, and this is a quote, the lights were brighter than I expected. How? You lived it's in his third postseason. How? You see, his third postseason, you lived in New York. You played a series in New York. What are you talking about? Yeah, and on top of that. that, you are supposed to be the, the, the energy, the, 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 the toughness, the defender, the linchpin under the basket. And the whole series, you looked like you were dejected. Your whole, your whole aura. No, he's just trotting up and down, and they just hitting you back in your head with forearms, knocking you under the basket. You ain't even, look, this is crazy. That, that is crazy that you said that. Now, my problem is this, and I throw this out to everybody else. We know this. You can't fool the fooler. You know when you give an effort, and effort is not something you can just grow overnight. The problem is, I ain't worried about your skill set and why you can't, we can't throw you the basketball and you can't score underneath. At least you can keep other people off the boards. But the, uh, the, the unforgivable thing is for you to look in the mirror and say to yourself, yeah, I was scared. Yeah, I took an L and I'm going to just put it out after they was laughing at you in game four. After they was in the media laughing at you. And my problem is this. We can wish and hope all we want. The bottom line from basketball standpoint, Evan Mobley and Jared Allen cannot play together. That is what it is. I'm the, beginning to think that too. The, it's, it, it, because G's right. Because yeah, you, you, you were 15th in rebounding. You, you can't 15th, you, you which can't, is effort. You can't eat this. Even the stuff Evan Mobley does well. He's even hampered a little bit because Jared Allen is sitting there. But you know what? Who's going to take Jared Allen? He's un, he's unmovable. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't. Listen, I'm not, I'm not panicking here. But I, I will tell you this: your rotation. So when you talk about the sweeping changes, your rotation has to change. You need two. Here, let me tell you what you need. You need to resolve your three position. You're not going to resolve it through normal means because you have no money to do it, right? So you're going to have to buy off the scrap heap. But you need two more additional bodies because let me counteract this thing here. You two not rebounder. I'm gonna send two dogs up in here, right? We cracking some heads up in here, right? Who are the dogs? You better Sorry, find them out here. I that's said, that's I another here. thing here, for Kobe. Hold on, hold on, Stop talking about what you can't hold, do. Hold, let me tell you here, because I, I think of like this. There was a guy that called in on radio the other day, and he said something good. Because you now you can't go traditional methods, but you don't have the money to get out here and fly somebody, right? Man. You don't have the assets, Bro, right? Look. Let me so so let me tell you what a guy threw out yesterday. You know, I'm looking around, and for this year, I need to get out the moment. Tristan was sitting at home. I could have used him to bang around, right? I'm just using him for the year. I'm not using him for no five years span. Here, got throughout this yesterday. Boogie Cousins down there in Mexico. Yep. Yep. Give me that. Here, not that Boogie Cousins is the Boogie Cousins. I need somebody. I need somebody with some dog in him. Yeah. Right. Well, did you see the Isaac Okoro quote about physical play? What did he say? Yeah. The reporter asked him, why wasn't there an adjustment made to ramp up? the physical play to meet the Knicks. He said, oh, I got the exact oh, quote you oh, want. Yep. Yeah, yeah, let me see it. He basically said exact quote right here. You quote, can't do that. I don't think you can adjust physicality have to have it got to have toughness. It's just a mental thing. It's not something you can physically have. So he's saying Mentally, they, you've just got to want it more. Apparently New York wanted it more end quote. Um, uh, guys, these are horrible quotes. <laughs> these quotes coming out of here. The lights were too bright. Oh, we're just not physical. We, we, you can't just manufacture physical, and we're not a physical team. They wanted it more. So you and got, the worst one, Jay, the worst one we didn't even read, but Danny Green and Rubio both said, we knew we were the better team. New York just wanted it more. Guys, Why? Guys, How? This, is, this, is, this is broken culture. So, so you have to – is, just... is it not broken culture, Brad, well, when you've got I, four I, guys? I don't like – here, those comments you just heard – I don't like any of them, right? Because they're symbolic of, of what is being sublimely thought. Who do here, they go to? Right. It, it goes to the culture being set here, right? Because, and who sets the culture? Well, you, you know, it starts at the top. JB it, sets, it, sets are the they top. saying that in Miami about Spolstra? No, because but see what, what, what stops it. You don't know what Spolstra is saying, but I tell you what, Jimmy Butler not having it, right? You don't have nobody here that's not having it, right? You, you Donis Haslam ain't having it. I said, so here, who, who, <laughs> God, this is who amazing. who's cracking a head here, right? Because somebody gotta keep somebody honest. Because I'm gonna just tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. On any of the teams I've been on, Pistons, Bulls, front line getting out done like that, they'd have had some words. Probably had some hands on them by this time, right? They had some hands the on. The Knicks them. or the Heat are gonna play in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's yeah. crazy. Five and an eight. But so one of them is gonna play for the but, Eastern but Conference Finals. But here, what's, what's what is the common denominator? You have dudes on each team 
that's not having it. Jimmy and, Butler's not having it. And, 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 Brunson's not having it, right? And it's not so necessarily and, and, and about. And the Cavs don't have that it's guy. Not I thought Mitchell was that guy. It's not necessarily. I thought we had it. I don't know no, now. The, no, no, no. The organization <laughs> don't have it because at the top of the organization, he just told you ain't nothing going to happen. So that's that's like you you got children, right? Your father, did you you know, you got kids, they go to school and do something, right? The teacher call you in and you get there and instead of asking what your kid did, you flip the whole conversation <laughs> on the teacher. Right. Well, well, yeah. well, what did you say to but him? Here's the, well, here. well, what happened? Why would you why would you raise your voice? Here's, here's, I see why here, what? Gee, but here's the other side of it, right? You could be saying anything at the press conference to get out the moment, right? What you, what you going to show me between now and August? What you going to do about it? Because there's a problem here and for and and the problem <clears> is here's the thing, Jay. Everybody in this town saw it. I mean, you could you couldn't not tell just this town. You couldn't tell. I'm just going to leave it here eccentric to to Northeast Ohio, right? Everybody, everybody here saw it, right? And it has to be addressed. So you can't sit here and say we're not addressing it because hey, it has to be addressed. I'm, I'm, I'm not. And he said it. Listen, here's what I'm not going to do no more. I'm not about to sit here and say who's washed and who's done. Can Carmelo Anthony give me something more than I got from Jetty Osman? Sure the hell he can. Can Carmelo Anthony give me something better than needs than Ricky Rubio? Sure he can. At the end of the day, we got to stop saying what we don't need in lieu of being comfortable with what we got. Right. And that comfortable nature turns real sour in your mouth when you get smoked by the Knicks. By the way, Bismack Biombo is available. I take him. DeMarcus Cousins is available. I kick the tires on him. And if you want to find out a way to get Evan Mobley together, I bring in Nikola uh, Vujicic. I like him out of Chicago. He can hit a three. He's he can get back to the basket guy, and he's rugged. Well, I'm give a, me Vujicic. I remind people, and the offseason is about you can. There's redemption here. You can redeem yourself, right? But you have to. There's some honesty in it. I'll take you back to remember Magic had that tragic series playoff series against the Celtics. Yep. Right, and the world came crashing down. I mean, I mean, they turned on him like it was nobody business in this in this country. And so he used that entire offseason. Jay knows it to use that entire offseason to rebuild himself and his game. But there was some honesty there. You have to say, I stunk the joint up. It was me. I right. didn't hear anybody say that right. in this well, game. Well, I heard I heard Donald Mitchell say it was me. I faltered, right? Now it's just not the talk. I don't you have to believe it was you that didn't do it. I don't feel they got the same, I don't feel like they got the same anything as magic. The mental fortitude, the heart, the leadership, none of that. So if you don't got none of that, I don't know what's the catalyst for you going out here to make your life hard in the summer by doing stuff. I just don't, I don't see that type of team. I don't see it. Can I add one thing to this? And it's spot on with what you guys are saying. You look at the heat, for example, and not the heat of the anomaly. They, they do everything differently. They don't care about the regular season. We talk about having bucket getters, all these different types of options to score. Did y'all know Miami had the league's worst offense this year? Yeah, they did. Point per They're game. number one in the playoffs. I get that in terms of points per game yeah. and the all-inclusive, we need this everywhere shooting. They shot the second lowest percentage from three on the fewest attempts in the league this year. But come playoff yeah. time, they have a head coach in Spolstra, yeah. and they have a dude, a certified playoff dude. Jimmy Butler in the regular season? Is what he is. He's going to sit out 25 games. The second that postseason starts, there may be two, three players in the league you'd want on your team in a game seven over Jimmy Butler. So, so his Mike, you, this series have been incredible. And that's the difference in a team like Mikey, Miami and what we saw in Cleveland. Mike, you missed a couple of things. It's not just Jimmy Butler, right? Kyle Lowry's not having it. He's not, well, I'm just, he's, just giving he's, you the top. But, I'm, but, but, yeah. but I'm, I'm giving you the components of what's inside the group. Yeah. It's not just one person. You have a multitude of people that are not having, and they're the ones that keep the pressure on the other ones. Because when you're not delivering, you think I was joking? I was lying. Chicago, we'd put, we would put somebody put some hands on somebody. It wouldn't have to have been Fuck. JB to tell me that you wasn't doing your job here. Somebody would have fought you. I'm about to fight you right now, right? Because I gotta hold you accountable here. You get here. Let me just say the worst look they had in the entire player. We getting run up under the basket. Mitchell Robinson is making jokes on you in the post <laughs> in the press conference. Mitchell Robinson, decent dude. I mean, he's not an earth mover around here. There's got to be more pride, um, and I just now you can run a, see it. If you can run in the ground by Embiid, that's a different story. Mitchell Robinson, right? So you have there's some honesty here, right? But there's some gaping holes here. There was nobody JB could turn to on the sideline that could help. Mm-hmm. Who's your OG? Nobody. So all the dudes you playing down in the G League and down here, nothing helping you at all. 
But Carmelo's sitting at home. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, look, man. Um, I, I've said it. I'm on record with saying it. And, and the only way you get people um, together is you, you, you just you just let them know how you feel. If the if the Cavs think that they're gonna just come back, and Kobe Altman, you do a mm-hmm. press conference and you gonna say we're not making sweeping changes. I'm not paying attention to y'all like that. Bro. Now, now you gotta. I, I'm not. I'm not interested. I don't want to. Don't tell guys, me, guys. I, I'm I not, cannot I'm not doing tell it. you the, the by game five. Yeah. City of Cleveland had already checked out. Yeah. Playoff tickets on the resale market were were going twenty six bucks. You could have got in for twenty six. Nothing. We did. We had live reporters at the Tower City. Yeah. Uh, Tower City has pregame. Uh, it, I was embarrassed for Cleveland. It was the first time since I've been home where I could actually say, "Oh my God, I'm embarrassed of my city." They they were giving away free tickets at the Tower City uh, pep rally at five o'clock. It's a couple hours before the game. There were like thirty people down there. And, and they were holding watch parties, so you could, it was, you know, everybody could come down and stay down there for the game. Even later in our newscast and for the 6 o'clock show, we took a live shot there. There was hardly anybody there. Yeah. Well, and, and I had said, I, I, I told some folks in our newsroom, we talked about it on the air, I said, Cavs aren't winning tonight. It's over. It's G, ending tonight. Gee, well, you know, people here are... The city he, gave up on them, too. The city, but you know why? We saw what it was. Zay, people, it was fool's gold people, in the regular season. People here had, had seen the glory. Right? They, know. Seen they have now, now they, and they know what it looks no, like. And it doesn't look like, look like that. They, I know, this, what, I it's know this, what. It's the same reason why the, the people flood, uh, flood out of Brown Stadium when the Browns are struggling and they act like, well, we got Watson under him. They're like, no, no, this, I know. this not working. And by the way, you know that question that we we jokingly asked, uh, would, would you want LeBron back? And there were a lot of people with all kinds of bravado saying, oh, hell no, we don't need him now. We got, we got Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, we need him. I'll take him. <clears throat> Listen, I'll man. take a 39 year old LeBron James here next year because you know why he's going to hold everybody, everybody in that locker room accountable every single and, night. And, and we don't have a guy that does that and right every, now. And, and that is why. Listen, and, and, and I'm going to just to me, I'm switching it up. You know, certain things in your life change who you are. I'm not I, the, 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 the people out there that have snide remarks for LeBron and what he do. Uh, I'm no longer listening or entertaining <laughs> any of those conversations. Yo. My block button is ready. The block, <laughs> block defollow button, all that is ready. I'm not going to do it because I understand how hard it is when the championship and just what not only him, but J.R. Smith, or, and all the Tristan Thompson slander got to quit too. I don't care who he dates. Stop it. He's not, listen, Tristan Thompson versus Jared Allen. You know who I'm taking. Anderson Verzal, that whole squad is now put in bubble wrap. Don't sit on it. It's like your grandmother's furniture well. in that little room <laughs> with the white carpet with the bubble wrap all on the couches. We're not about to go there. Leave that alone. They in bubble wrap. I'm going to say this, right? Because I've talked to Kobe a number of times, right? And I feel like he's a guy that keeps it honest. So I don't care what you say at that podium, right? The things that have to be done here, and I think he recognizes that. Now, the question is, there's some things that have to be addressed here because some of the things that you saw transpire in this five game series have to be answered because the problem Jay is the other teams in the league saw how you got walked down. Mm -hmm. They're going to use the same methodology against you. So you have to counteract that narrative, right? And it's the same reason why as the bulls were struggling, they went and got a nemesis to help them. They went and found Dennis Rodman. Sure. Right. Because they had to be honest with themselves. This thing ain't w- going to work like this without a person like that. Right. Right. So you have to get out of what you thought it was about and say, will I do what's necessary to make us better? I think the disappointing thing, Brad, is Cavs fans thought that we were finally living in the world of NBA relevant relevance. Yeah. Yes. We thought that, you know, we were. Mm-hmm. Uh, and here's the worst part about it. Because of the years that LeBron gave the Cavs, right. we know what being relevant feels like. Right. We also, because of the LeBron less years, right. know what irrelevance feels right. like. And we thought, oh, we're back in the relevance. We're about to back in the game again. And we quickly got swatted back into the world of irrelevance. We gave everybody the fodder that they needed because Stephen A went ballistic. I mean, this is the, and not just Stephen A, but I mean, the whole thing, the whole narrative, right? So you undermined your 50 win season, right? 
Now, if you had given a performance like Atlanta and uh, like I'm at this thing, Sacramento, you say, okay. Yeah, they weren't even in the games. They lost by 11 That's the in problem. game five. They lost by nine in game four at home. They lost by 29 in game three. Yeah. After a big win in game two, yeah. they came out and lost by 29 points. You, it's so, it's so cra- you know what? i am be honest with you, man. There's a time. <laughs> there's a time. I, I, you know, people say I, I don't take to losing very well. Um, we was playing. We was playing uh, Buffalo one time. Buffalo was like ranked 117th or something stupid in the country. Mm. And I'm at which is you. damn near last. What's his last in Division One? And we went to Buffalo and we got beat 40 to nothing, 41 nothing. And I was a freshman and I came back and, and I got we got to uh, we got back to the stadium. Who we watched fired? the film. Who got fired? And uh, they had us running extra laps because um, we had we, we we didn't have our socks at the right length. Wow. And, and of all the things they of all the things to. and as we're on the line running, I just go in the monologue. I said, you know what? <laughs> I said, it's a, it's a damn shame that you guys are out here trying to make prove a point about running when you can't get a third down conversion. Why would you even call that? We running in the triple option still and we, we live in the dark ages. This is not the four horsemen in Notre Dame in 1920. <laughs> <laughs> They looked at me like they had saw a ghost. They said, you know what? You shut your mouth. I said, you get what? What? You already run? We already running. We got to be 41 nothing by the worst team in the game. And all you could come up with is running for socks, but no adjustments. You guys are great. You guys are great on discipline. You guys, listen, note to self, this ain't the military, right? Like, you can't send me to a war. The only thing you can do is either take my scholarship or make me run more. And I, they just made me run. They said, "Dang, bro, why would you do that?" I said, "Sometimes you got to prove a point." How long did that coaching staff last? They was out of there the next year. Go on. peace. Not, not surprised. Go on. because we went one and ten. Well, so so here, I think it was it was tough medicine for everybody. I'm not gonna. I'm not here to panic yet. I, I don't like the way any of it went down. Right? I don't think anybody here went down. Anybody tell you they like the way it went down is lying to you. Right? But I need. Yeah. The, I need that right. old Dan Gilbert back. The, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Yeah. The, if you're listening, Dan, you watch the show. Hopefully, you do. Tell your boy Kobe if, if if that was just a smoke screen. Hopefully, it was. But tell him, status quo won't get it. Well, done. I'm gonna tell you this. I, I I'm I'm not sure that anybody saw that coming. Right? The way it came. Right. Because some things, some things you can't teach, right? Some things are the coach can't instill in you. Either you, either you do or you don't, right? Yeah. And we saw more you don't than you do, right? Saw a lot more. 